So when you first go into iMovie, you're going to have this screen right here and this is where you will see all of your projects. So when you make more movies or more videos that they'll all pop up right here. And so if you're editing two videos at the same time, they'll both be here that you can go back and forth with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this plus sign and the create project box. And this is how we're gonna start making our movie. So you have two options here. You have create movie and create trailer. Now, if you're making a YouTube video, I would not choose create trailer. This is good for like school projects and stuff because it's a lot of like pre-built templates that you can add text to and add videos and photos to. But the movie is what's going to give you the options to edit it cleanly, like how you would a YouTube video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click movie. Now it's going to bring you to your camera roll and here you're going to be able to select all the photos and videos that you want in your um, video that you're making. Now you do have an option later on to add more videos or photos or whatever you want. So you don't have to worry about adding everything, but if you're editing like a vlog, you should put all of your base clips in here so that you can cut them down and make the vlog flow and then later on like add extra photos and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add like the basic two clips that I want in my video. So you're going to go to whatever photos that you want. You'll click on it and once it's highlighted in yellow, you'll see that there's a check mark. You're going to want to click on that for whichever videos you want and then click create movie at the bottom of the screen. So now this is your timeline here that I'm dragging. I'm just using my finger going back and forth with it. And so the first thing that you can do is split it. So if you want to shorten it, you have two options. You can click on it and you can drag this yellow portion, this thicker yellow rectangle back and forth. Or what you can do is you can find a part in the middle of the clip and, and press split. And as you guys can see, this makes it into two different clips. So what you can do now is if you want to add a transition, you can go ahead and do that by clicking on this little um, icon right here. And you can see that there will be theme transitions based on the theme that you selected. Usually it's just plain a dissolve transition where it just dissolves into it, the next clip. A slide one, which I know is really popular. I like to use that one in videos. A wipe transition, which is a little bit uh, less obvious. And then fade, which is this. And of course, if you don't want any transition, you can click none. But the cool thing though, is that you have options here for how fast or slow you want the transition. So if you need to clean it up, you can also choose to have audio, like a sound effect along with it or not. And you can also change the settings. Like if you want to put a filter, if you want to make the theme um, a different theme. So that's what that is. So now if you want to go ahead and delete something, you're going to click on it again. And in the same menu, you'll see that there's an option to duplicate and delete. So if you want to of the same clip, you can do that, but I'm just going to go ahead and delete the extra clip. And now we're left with this. So some other options that you have is right down here, you have this option to change the time. So you can either speed it up by dragging this white circle towards the bunny, or you can slow it down by dragging it towards the turtle. And this just gives you options for how fast or slow you want it. I'm just gonna make it normal speed. You also have an option to freeze it. So say you are doing a voiceover in your video and you need more time to speak. This is a good option to just freeze the frame so that you're able to just talk for longer. There's also add and reset so that if you make a mistake, you can go ahead and do that. This next bar here is your sound. Now there's no sound on this video, so I'm not gonna be able to edit that yet. Um, and then you have text. So if you wanted to put text over this video, you would find the one that you want. You would click on it. And then you would click on the screen, just tap where the text shows up on the screen and it lets you type whatever you want. So I'm just gonna type by editing X and click done and you can't you don't really have many options to edit it you can pretty much just let it like have the same effect the other thing too is if you only want it on part of the clip you're gonna have to make sure you split the clip so you would have to split and then you go to this one and then you would turn text to none and it would only be on that part of the clip next thing is down here you have the option to change the filter over it so if you want to give it a black and white theme or you want to add a color to it i know this is popular for that like emma chamberlain type of editing you can click on one of these while you have the clip selected but if you don't want any you could just go click none so that's pretty much it for this menu down here of these options. Now for up here, I'm gonna show you guys how to use green screens and such. So basically right here is your play button. So when you wanna just watch the video, how it turns out, you would click on that. 
And say you're editing your video and it's like 10 minutes long and you don't want to scroll for five minutes trying to get back to the beginning, you can just press this button and it will bring you to the beginning of each clip, which is useful so that you can go clip by clip and make sure everything looks good. This is your undo button. So if you make a mistake, you could just click the undo and it will undo that mistake. And then here you have the option to add more media. So when you're doing this, this is basically how you're gonna create a green screen. Um, you can always add a video or a photo over like so. So when you go into the photo or video you want, it's gonna give you a couple options. So you can do it as a cutaway, a picture in picture. You could split the screen, a uh, green screen or audio. So I, you would select the audio option if you're using the video as like your music, but I'm going to go ahead and click uh, picture in picture and you'll see that this is what this looks like. And you have a couple of options to uh, edit it. You can basically change the border. You could also move where it is on the screen and resize it. So something cool that people do I know is I've seen in like best dress, which Ashley it's her YouTube channel. You can move this to your screen and resize it so that you have the background of like the cloud. I just think it looks cool. Um, some other options are uh, split screen. So if you want half the video looking a certain way and half looking another way, you have the option to do it like this. And again, you can have that line or not. I think it looks better without the line. And you can also change the orientation. So if you click on this button right here, that's how you get that. You can also go down here and change it with this button right here. And basically, if you want to change it to like a cutaway or if you want to change it to like a split screen. So a cutaway basically looks like this and it just pops up over the video that you have. And this is useful uh, when you're talking. And I know when like videos, when you're talking for a really long time, it gets boring if you're consistently talking and there's no supplemental visuals. So what you can do is do a cutaway of B-roll and it just makes the video more enticing and more interesting for people to watch because there's more movement and there's more things for people to see. And finally, I'm gonna show you guys how to use green screen. So you're gonna go to that plus button right here again and find a green screen video that you downloaded. So when you click on it, you're gonna wanna go to the three dots like usual that we've been doing and then click green blue screen and put it right over your video. And then you'll see you're able to line it up. So I'm just going to shorten it. So it starts right where the green screen starts. And then you can also move it wherever you want over top of a clip. And then when you play it, it automatically applies the green screen effect so that you have this effect over your video. So. There you go, that's how you use green screens. And there are a variety of different green screens you can use. It's just that you can only use like one at a time of these like overlay options per uh, video clip. So now what I'm gonna teach you guys how to do is add the audio to your video and how to edit it so that it sounds the best when you're making a video. So again, you're gonna go to this plus button right here and you'll see that there's an options over here to add audio to add a voiceover and this is what we're going to be focusing on here so if you click on audio right here there's options that you have soundtracks my music and sound effects so soundtracks is stuff that is built into imovie i believe that you have the option to use in your video i am not 100 percent sure if it's copyright free so i would not use this expecting it to be but i'll definitely look that up and i'll leave uh, um, some information about it in the description box but you can click on any of these you also have the option to choose music from your camera roll, and yes, that is an Ant Farm song that I did purchase when I was 11, so we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> you can sort it by artists, songs, albums, whatever you want. But I'm going to go to soundtracks, and I'm just going to click one that I have. And I have to let it download since I don't actually have it downloaded on my phone. But you can click on it, and then again, there's this plus button, so just click on that and drop it in your video. Okay, so now that I have my audio here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to fade the audio. So when you're doing a voiceover, you're not going to want the audio to be like super loud or anything while you're doing the voiceover. So I'm just going to record one real quick to put in here. So it'll also show you guys how to use it. But you're going to go to that plus button again, back all the way to voiceover, click on that. And then I'm just going to record something. This is me recording a voiceover. You can review it here, or you can retake it, or you can just cancel or accept it. I'm just going to accept it. And in order to uh, basically fade it, you're going to split it right where the end of the voiceover is. So you see that right where this end of this purple line is, the green line also splits. And that's because we're going to change the uh, volume. So I'm going to turn it down. And I'm also going to click fade on the clips before it and then drag this triangle 
a little bit before if you can see what I'm doing but basically what this is going to do is the volume of this music is going to go down and then it's going to be at this level while the voiceover is and then it's going to go back up for the uh, next clip uh, and that's by moving this triangle and it just makes the audio sound a lot smoother and makes it sound a lot better in your video and so that's pretty much it with this tutorial now when you're done you go to the top corner and you click done and if you want to save it to your camera roll you're going to go right down here to this uh, box with the arrow coming out of it and you have the option to save it to your camera roll or put it on any of these sites right here so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit about iMovie and how to better use it and edit like a pro. I have a lot of iMovie tutorials too, so I'll definitely link the playlist down below and some other videos that you would like because my channel is all about video editing and editing on iMovie is definitely included in that. So thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.